Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new video. Today I will present you my whole Amouage collection. This is a niche perfume brand from Oman. Before going into the collection, I would like to present you a little story about this brand. Oman is known as the land of frankincense. This is a small yellow resin with a fragrant unmistakable scent which Omanis extract from special trees in the Dofar Governorate. This distinguished essence used to be given as precious gifts to kings and emperors of the world. Amouage was established in 1983 when Qaboos bin Said, the Sultan of Oman, decided to found a company to preserve the perfume making traditions of Oman. He also wanted to have an authentic invaluable gift to give to world's leaders whenever they were coming to visit the country. The company represents itself as a royal brand, which is clearly reflected in its logo, reminiscent of the Omani royal seal. And that's also why some of the bottles have this cup here, similar to the dagger from Oman, this is for men's bottles and for women bottles you would have the dome of the Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque. This is the most famous mosque in the country of Oman. The current creative director for Amouage, his name is Renaud Salmon and some of the great releases during his time in the company are the Interlude Black Iris, the Renaissance collection with four perfumes, Boundless Material, for Boundless there is also a review which I made, and my favorite from all the amouages, the Overture Man. My collection consists in five full bottles, which I totally love, that's why I also own full bottles. I also have some samples, but I don't consider those as my amouage collection. They are decreasing in order based on preference and the one that is the first one in the list is also my absolute favorite from the house of Amouage. So number five that is Journeyman which was released in 2014 is a spicy smoky perfume. Perfumer uh, for this are Alberto Morillas and Pierre Negrin. Pierre Negrin also created the interlude Oud Bouquet from Lancome and Alberto Morillas is creating now the Gucci perfumes and also Aqua Di Gio is also one of his creations. So two great perfumers created this. As a note, you would have Sichuan Pepper, Bergamot, Cardamom Neroli, Juniper Berry. It has this... Uh, very very strong smoky type of smell and this is a very smoky perfume which develops in dry down to a very beautiful leather spicy fragrance a similarity with a perfume that is already on the market would be with african leather from memo which is in the same direction but i find this a bit better a bit more suited to my taste so number five journeyman On number four, we have Memoir Man. This is a woody, spicy perfume launched in 2010. All of my perfumes have this magnetic cup. The perfumer is Karin Vinchon Spenner, which created also Boundless and Overture Man from Amouage. As a note, you would have absinthe, basil, tarragon, mint, lavender, some frankincense, of course, tobacco, leather. So it's a very complex perfume. And I can tell you that this is a perfume which you either love or hate. This is not something growing on you. So it has a very dark side. It doesn't smell like anything else on the market. And this develops in a very beautiful, boozy leather scent with this absinthe. And I think it's a very nice note. So on number four, Memoir Men. On number three, Jubilation 25 Men. This is one of the most 
famous perfumes from Amouage line and it's an oriental spicy it was launched in 2008 the perfumer behind this is Bertrand du Chaffour, which also created Amouage Diamants, Artorial Perhaligons or Into the Wood from Astrophil and Stella it smells so good as notes you would have blackberry, davana, coriander, labdanum frankincense clove ambergris wood not very strong wood not barnyardy wood but there is some wood in here so this is a very complex fragrance which was created to celebrate 25 years of existence for the company it is a very oriental incensey type of perfume and quite mysterious so it doesn't project very much around you but close to you you would have a very nice and sensual type of smell this is definitely for colder days in the warm days it will be a bit too much and i think this is one of the best amouages so number three jubilation 25 on number two we have reflection man this is a very beautiful floral sweet perfume launched in 2007 perfumer is Lucas Yozak he also created Jubilation 25 Woman which smells very much like Mitsuko or like Diaghilev from Roja and it's also a very high quality perfume so the Jubilation 25 Woman but back to this one as notes you would have rosemary, red pepper, bitter orange leaf Neroli, jasmine, sandalwood and this is a very 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 nice office scent at least for me and this is one of the most versatile perfumes on the market in my opinion is very rich in jasmine and rosemary and this is a very high quality floral scent which can be worn in hot days like this one with over 30 degrees outside and it will last the whole day so it will be like a skin scent or very close to your bubble let's say but this is a perfume that will last the whole day is very floral it has a very strong note of jasmine the jasmine takes over everything and if you are not a fan of jasmine this one maybe will not be for you it has a similarity with Le Mal from Jean Paul Gaultier but very very little and this one is of more high quality and smells more mature than that one so on number two reflection man and on number one I have overture man which is a perfume for which I also have done a full review recently this is a spicy woody type of perfume I would also call it boozy spicy woody type of perfume launched in 2019 the perfumer behind this is Karin Vinchon Spenner which also created memoir so the perfume on number three and it has a very 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 big amount of notes so grapefruit cardamom cumin ginger nutmeg saffron cognac cinnamon benzoin myrrh frankincense leather so yeah this is my number one from amouage and my number one from every possible perfume that i have at home so this is my favorite absolutely and this is a very nice boozy perfume with a strong grapefruit opening which is followed by the complexity of cardamom saffron labdanum and also lots of cognac so after a while so in dry down this becomes this stunning beautiful aged barrels of cognac type of smell which i really really like and it also con contains leather and frankincense and this is a great perfume if you didn't have the chance to test it so far because it's very exclusive you don't find it so often please test it go and test it because this is an absolute masterpiece from Karin Vinchon Spenner and from Amouage so this was my top five Thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing my amouage collection please comment down below what is your experience with amouage perfumes and which one do you like the most from the ones i have presented stay healthy and i hope to see you soon bye bye